and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as I like to call it, CB Cubed. Yeah, he calls it CB Cubed. We're in the final set of packs for season three. Season three. So yeah, these after these packs are open, you will know your final score for the season. We do have at least, uh, what, like four rounds of this. I know, yeah. Right, so, so there there will be more episodes to come after today. So today won't give you the final tally of everything, but you will have a very strong idea of where you stand going forward. With that being said, let's play the rules. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy! I know everyone is holding their breath for eyeball energy because of the sheer number of psychic Pokemon in this set. So let's okay. see if today's our lucky day. I'll even start it on oh, the old, oh. the old eyeball. See if wow. it gives it a little, little extra moxie. Alright, cross your fingers, eyes, toes, nose, and... Go. Nice. Three, two, go. Here it is, here it is. Oh! Oh, oh my what? gosh! Oh my gosh, we've landed on Harry Potter Scar Energy. Oh, wow. well, you know what? It had to be something, and it may as well be Harry Potter Scar Energy. So we'll see if that ends up yielding anything fun and exciting in today's episode. It could yield a little something extra because we also have our uncommon chase cards for the day, one of which is electric. That Today they will be Raichu, Meditite, and Dupider. Dupider. Yeah, Dupider. If I've learned anything, anything from this game, it always feels like it's like, oh, I've seen a whole bunch of the Meditites. Okay, that makes sense. We're gonna see a whole bunch of those and then we'll see none of then them. Then we'll see none of then them. Then we'll see yeah. none of them. Can we just, can we break this box? Let's do it. All right. Go into pro mode. Ha. Pro Going mode. into. Promo. Yeah. Promo. Duh. Pro mode. Yeah, I got it. Have we made that joke already? I don't know. Certainly we have. You know what, I'm just gonna do this from the start. Wow. Oh, everything is different. Everything is different. Oh my goodness. All right, Ben, okay. well, let's get go ahead and get things kicked off. Our first contestant today is Tyler Siegel, who is coming into the round with four points on the season. Do you know, this one right here, Ben, I'm not gonna, it's sticking up a little. You see ooh, this right here? Ooh, it, it's like it's like talking to you. It is, it's calling to me. Tyler, this one's for you. All right, where, where does four points put you overall on the leaderboard? At least in 61st, a great big tie for 61st. 61st, all right, let's see if we can kick things off with fire energy. So no uh, bonus right out of the gate. Look at all these sight. Look at all these eyeball Pokemon all that would have. Oh, the there's Rotom. one. The Rotom yep, source, the Dreepy, the Smeargle, and the Arcanine. Bam, unfortunate. So it looks like a solid two point pack. Tyler has been super consistent all season. That's his third two point pack in a row to finish the season with six points. Either which way, cards headed your direction. Thank you so much for your support, Tyler. Yeah. All right, Ben, your first contestant on the day is Matthias. Matthias. Matthias coming in with seven points on the day, so already ahead of Tyler. And you know what? Matthias, very lucky, gets my lucky pack. Well, the one you moved the to the front. The one I moved to the front. Okay. So we'll see if anybody further in in the episode is going to be like, goodness gracious, Ben, you could, that could have been, been me. That could have been me. Well, that could have been me. But you but know it what? couldn't have been. I love to add chaos to the existing chaos. That's yeah. really just what I'm here for. So we'll see if we've got anything fun or exciting in my first pack. Yeah, with the flip. oh, with the darkness, the dark teardrop energy. The dark teardrop, as I like to call it. We're gonna yep. ultimately end up renaming all of these in time. Well, they're poorly named to begin with. It's true, Clang, yeah. Claydol, Worker, Spinda, ooh, the, the Rotom, Rotom scores. there we go, the yep. Whalmer, Spinarak, Solosis, Lantern, Lantern scores. scores, and the Dragonite. And the Dragonite. Wait, is there, okay, it almost seemed like there was one more card, but there's not. There's not. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a three point pack, I believe, right? This is just, uh, yeah. But these are all electric, oh wait, no, I'm sorry, this is not electric. That's Dragon. 
fine. Okay. It so, looks electric, but it's not. Right. Okay. Yes, you are correct. So I'm gonna bring uh, Tyler up to ten. Not Tyler. Matthias up to ten points on the season. Gonna be uh, good enough for at the moment a uh, uh, tie with 14th place. Uh, yeah, 14th about place. about 14th place is where the tens begin. It feels like it might be a good Big Steve kind of winning position there, and we will get Big Steve's final score in this episode. I think probably uh, fairly soon even, uh, but. Next up, we have Nickel. Nickel! Coming in with seven points on the, I'm going out the front now. Wow. Yeah. Look at you go. Yeah. We'll a, real, a real a uh, real cowboy, as it were. That's me. That's what they call me. Jay the Cowboy. Jay, Jay, Jay the Cowboy. Oh. oh, no. Unfortunately, our first minus one of the day. We're going to put that down there with our V-Star marker. There's the Duosion, the V-Guard energy. Look at all of the eyeball, eyeball energy. I know. It's, it's, every, it's uh -oh. just mocking us. There is something. Oh, the Drudagon, a Big Steve favorite. There you go. And the Terrakion. All right, so I, I don't know if the Drudagon's going to be worth anything particularly big, but we will look it up just, just to be to sure. Be sure. Yeah. I'm sure the Terrakion's but a single point. Let's see, number nine. It's like, it's so close. Oh, it's no. so close to earning an extra point, but comes in at 96 cents, so terrible rounding oh, value. Oh, very bad rounding value. So it's going to be two points minus the one for the V-Star for a single point on the pack, but you do get the awesome Drudagon card. I was so. going to say, on the bright side, it's it's an absolutely just just beautiful card. Yes, so. it is. So that's going to put you at uh, eight points on the season for Nickel. Congratulations. There, there we are. Bam. Next up, Ben, you have got Lauren. Lauren. Lauren comes in with but five points as well. So hoping for a real big pull here. Maybe okay. something to land okay. her in the eighth place. Maybe she gets the alt art Lugia V and just goes way up to the tippy top. It, you know what? It's not impossible. It's not impossible. We've seen it happen we on have. this show. Yeah. All right, with the, oh, the eyeball in and it's mocking us again. Oh, uh, there it is. It's, it's just it's watching so us I know. even. And that look there. Insult There's more. to injury, as it were. Oh, oh the we Metalite go. scores that though. Get up. Yep, there we there go. You go. The Our first chase card of the day. The Drowsy, the Marini, the Raichu, Raichu scores nice. two. Okay, that's amazing. And the Amoongus. Yeah, and the Amoongus. So the Raichu is going to be worth two, right? Because it's the um. Type advantage and it's a chase card. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yes, I was like, it's not a rare, but you are correct. Yes, because type yeah. advantage and so chase be card. Plus four on the day is going to be uh, nine for the season for Lauren. What we really need, Jay, at yeah. some point in time, is extremely sophisticated software that automatically is programmed to the specific <clears throat> point totals of every single card on the basis of the rules of CB Cube. That'd be amazing. So that as we go, we never make errors, uh, which is a good time to bring this up because our next card is Big Steve. The biggest. The biggest Steve. Me and Big Steve actually just got back from a tournament, a Pokemon trading card game tournament in Orlando. We traveled down together to compete in the biggest region ever it was super fun um it is it is worth pointing out that big steve we have had his score wrong in previous episodes however yes. it has now been corrected he has a total of six points overall yes. i believe in the past episode we said eight we were operating so on eight he is currently yes let's see so big steve's in the 33rd position at present and of right. course as a reminder the person who lands immediately above big C steve at the end of the season wins an elite trainer box Yes, so let's see. Well, Big Steve, wouldn't it be crazy if he had the type advantage, but he doesn't. Ah. So there's that. Doesn't mean he can't have a good card, though. Toxapex, Slant, Clang, Elegium, Fungus, Sandigas, Sandy Relicant. It's not looking that great Relican. all of a sudden, is it? The, the Lilligan and uh, the oh. Theo. It's a Big Steve. Wow. Okay, so big, so he wasn't at eight points, but he is he now. He is now. <laughs> so, there you go. So we were, we were only technically wrong for like five packs. Yeah, so it's worth. two there, eight total, which means the lucky number to hit is nine points, which could come down to a single person because at present, three people hold the nine point position. Those will obviously move around some as the game continues, but that is where you want to land to win big seed. I know, yes. Yeah. So now we're gonna have to keep very close attention on, let's see, at the very least, Mostwig, Ellie, and Jesse, yeah. who all currently have nine points. Yes. Although it stands to reason they will have more points. It does, not impossible. They could get that that, uh, that lucky zero. Beloved zero at yeah, this point. At this point. Uh, next up, though, we have Johnny coming Johnny. in with four points. So Johnny's maybe looking at a five-point pack is what he wants. Okay, okay, let's see. 
We haven't had like any. The, the, the best thing we've had so far is that Drudagon, and it's, that was only worth not even I know, a full I, dollar yet. I have so. not even had to like put my 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 sheets of paper to work I know. at all yet. Steel? Metal? Metal. Well, metal. Well, that's what it's called in game, so obviously it, it needs some renaming. It's obviously infuriating. So yeah. if you have any recommendations, be sure to let us know in the comments down below. The Clink, Clink the, 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 the Murkrow, Swablu, Curlia, and, and the, the Metagross. Mm, so that's going to be what, just a single point pack just for a single, Johnny? Just a single point pack. Going to bring them up to five points on the season. They do get the awesome looking Metagross though. So Congratulations. Cool. If it was me, I would frame it. Yeah, I would too. Put I'm a big a fan frame. of framing things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's so many framed things in this office, you guys couldn't even know. Uh, next up we have Cartavian, big crowd paper bench. And now look, now Cartavian is sitting at eight points. At eight points, so, so technically if, tied. If he had Steve. just pulled the Johnny pack, he'd be right there at nine. Right at nine. He'd be in the prime position. Striking I feel position. Like, I feel like the big Steve Wars is gonna come down to literal dollars and cents. I think it I mean? will, and when it comes down to it, just in case you guys are wondering what happens in the event of a tie, we will go through and review on the basis of uh, individual pennies, basically. Yes, yeah. and it, it has made a difference in the past. Yes, uh, I think that, I think last season was a big Steve, or it might have been la it was last, last place, place, and it came, came down, down to a, a single penny, a I single believe. Penny. Yeah. <sighs> Here we go. Teardrop energy for Cartavian. Can they get something else on the board? The Stunfist scores. Ponyta, the Ferrothorn does not score, and the Lilligan. So it looks like just a two point pack for Cartavian, unfortunately, landing them at. 10 points on the season, so just missing the Big Steve one. Just. Because, well, not necessarily, because conceivably the nine pointers could all improve. This and is And no true. one else could land at nine. So there's slim hope for you, Cartavian, but there's also <laughs> a bunch of other people said to get 10 points. So you're telling me there's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. That's all, that's all we got. Then next up, though, you have Jordan D. Jordan D. He is coming in with four points on the pack, right, or on the, on the season. Let's see, let's see. With the flip, teardrop, the teardrop. Energy, oh, completely disappointing. Yeah. Jinx, Toxapax, Professor Lavinson. Yeah, Professor Lavinson. Smeargle, Murkrow, Zubat, Emolga will score. scores, yep. Um, Elgum. 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 Uh, Vampy yeah. does and not score, and the Delphox. Ben, we are, I feel like the the dam is about to break. It is. It, the good news about nothing fun happening is that it means the fun is yet to come. It means it's coming, you know? It's not like, sometimes you open something big early and you're like, well, that means we're probably not getting anything too great the rest of the box. But I know, I know. that doesn't happen. Happened yet? Maybe Jessica Mullins will be the one to break the trend here. Jessica's coming in with four points on the season. She only had one pack leading into this, so she was a mid-season uh, game entry. Yes, yes, so. indeed. So, what kind of the interesting thing about our two packers is that in order to qualify for the last place award, you must have at least two packs opened. Yeah. Uh, which Jessica would technically qualify for, although I think the four points might be a little competitive for last might, place. Might be, might be. Coming in with the dark teardrop energy. The there darkest. For Jessica, let's see, Spinarak, Raltz, Krogunk, man, so much eyeball. Oh, I do see something back oh, there, Do you see ben. something uh -oh. peeking out? Oh, something it's gonna be a, oh, it's a Rainbow Mawile V-Star. I can tell you that uh, this is gonna be a not very competitive card, but it is gonna be a rare card. Yeah. Not a bad pull though, coming at $5.38, we'll oh, round man. up to six. Two six, that actually doesn't score. It doesn't score, uh, so, so it's just, just just six? Just just six, but just that's six. 10 points on the season. That's so. 10 on the season, which means you know, you are you have an outside shot <laughs> at, at, at Big Steve at the moment. You we, never know, but no matter what, you get the awesome secret rare, rainbow rare. We, and, we uh, need like the, the Vegas odds people to be like delivering like the like one in yeah. 10,000 chance. Yeah, right. like, like, mm, yeah, what do you yeah. need? In the ear, in the ear. Yeah, you need all the nines to graduate up to 10 and no one else to land at nine and then also have the like what, the, the lowest nine score? No, right? the highest, the, the highest. You, the, you want the lowest 10 score, right? Wouldn't that put oh, you directly in question. front of Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you want the lowest 10 score. Right, what puts you the most directly in front of You want Steve. $10 even, right. basically, is what you're looking for. Uh, next up, we have Ellie, Ben, who's coming in at nine points. So this is one of the people. Ellie, I, so you know, I don't- Ellie's looking for a solid zero here. I have no idea if this happens to you, Ellie, but I, whenever I hear the name Ellie, I can't think of anything other than Carl's wife from Up. Yes, fact. Which I, I think is a good thing. She seemed like a good one. She did. Yeah. All right, can we get the V-Star? 
No V Star marker, so we're not getting the zero point pack. Okay, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. With the flip. Bam, and then another oh, dark, dark teardrop. Man, if only, if only. All right, let's see. Unidentified mm. fossil, ar arachnid. Yeah, araquinid. Araquinid. Yeah. I, I hate that one. Yeah. I hate that one. Sorry, Ben. Stonejourner, Swirlix, Marini. Yeah, Marini. Nice, nice. Indeedy, Ball Toy. Oh, I think I see oh, something. Oh, you do see something. Sunkern. It looks gold. Ready? ready? Yeah. <gasps> the Duraludon V Max. Oh, but that's not it. That's oh, that's not, not it. even that's it. That's not even it. And oh! This is the best pack by the, in this uh, episode so far, by far. Let's see how Ellie has done. They've got two big full arts here. Let's the Duraludon see. could be good, and it is a really competitive card as well. Um, surprisingly, for the coolness factor of these black gold cards, they're not always worth that much, though. It always surprises me. Like yeah. I, I feel like that that should not be true. Yeah, they're see, so cool they looking. They are so cool, but then you do have the full art gym trainer, and while it is full art, gym trainer, I don't think has been played by a single person in the history of the game. So, oh, yeah, there okay. is that. To so consider that stands as well. out. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get uh, TG thirty out of the trainer gallery is gonna be uh, Duraludon. 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 Yeah. I think you just said it a few seconds ago. I, yeah. I, sh I, I tried to remember. I'm Duraludon. Dur Duraludon. Duraludon. People are like throwing this... their ham yeah. at the screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, stop having a Pokemon show if you can't pronounce things. That's worth two dollars and eighteen cents. So, so we're three, three points. points. Uh, I, uh, if we go to one hundred ninety-one on the set for the gym trainer, what will that get us? Two dollars and forty-two cents, which will round up to three. So six points on the pack. Six so actually tied, I believe. For the most competitive pack we've had today. Okay, bam. Awesome. Well done. That's 16 points on the season for Ellie. But honestly, for someone, if you were to go to the store, if I was at the checkout counter and bought one pack and had two full arts in there, I call it a I win. Mean, that's every a big win. Day. That's a big yeah. win no matter what. And because Duraludon is actually a very competitive card as well. Duraludon. Yeah, Duraludon. My bad, my bad. And 16 points, I don't know. I don't know if, uh, if we want to scroll up. That could put you in like eighth place positioning. Let's see. Oh, actually, I think very, very Ooh. nearly. Oh, yeah. Actually, 16 points right now puts you at seventh. So you're in a really good spot. Really good spot. Yeah, to uh, score there. So let's see. Next up, we have Justin Jump. And he's coming in with, I want to say, three points, if I can read my own handwriting. Because I think they got a goose egg last time. Yeah, let's scroll down to the bottom. We'll just uh, double check it there. Justin Jump has three points Justin indeed. Justin has three indeed. points, excellent. Justin's from Upset New York and just got into Pokemon cards. Right. Hey, what a great, I, honestly, I applaud you for getting into it, finding this show, and becoming a patron. Yeah. It's like, that's like hobbying as hard as you can. That's hobbying pretty good. All right, we have Salad Energy. Furrisug Girl, Don from the Toga Tomorrow. Relicant. We've had a couple of good packs in a row here. The Amoongus does score, and the Clink Clank. So, unfortunately, just a two- point pack there for Justin ending the season at five points. Uh, not thinking that's going to score you really anything too super in the terms of placement. However, the cards. You get the cards. You get that Amoongus. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. You can live a uh, Amoongus now. Uh, next up we have Gandalf, the actual white wizard himself. Uh, born the same day as Deadpool was first released. That's cool. Although there's a three questions mark after it, so maybe they're unsure. Maybe, maybe they're unsure. Or maybe uh, Kat, who worked here in office, was unsure if that was possible. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's Deadpool? Well, what even is a Deadpool? Yeah. All right, with the flip. All right, we got our More salad, salad energy. Salad yeah. energy, yeah, I know. Uh, Palosand, Palosand Dragonair, Dragonair, Toxicroak, Zubat, Pikachu, Pikachu scores. Score, the Growlithe, the Smeargle. I'm doing so good. You Esper. Go. Oh. More Pekko. Yep. And Zero uh, Aura, Aura, which will score twice. Yeah, so three points. Three points overall. Gonna bring, actually, this is really good. Gandalf lands at nine points. Oh. So that is um, serious Big Steve contention right there. Congratulations. Well actually, the, that lightning energy coming in handy. Yeah, you're right. So um, uh, Gandalf there is gonna be watching closely for the next couple of episodes to make sure uh, no one else lands they at that nine point that spot. Position. Yeah, can maintain Box them out, box them out. Next up we have Haley and Colin. They have two points as a team. As a team, as a collectively, team yeah. they successfully got zero. So Haley and Colin have got to be in strong contention for last place, I feel. Yeah, you would Let's think see. so. We do have a couple of two-point, uh, or two-pack people who only have a single point. Wow. 
Um, however, it only takes it only takes one card to bla blast them clean out of the water. Like, so. hey, they don't have the V-Star marker, and this okay. one, uh, you have oh, the rock okay. is pummeling energy. Which is our um, type advantage on the day. No, it's not. Lightning energy is. Lightning energy is. So. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just completely distracted and confused, apparently. I do see something back there. Chin Chow scores, okay. Ralts, and Ooh. here we go. But, oh, it's another Duraludon VMAX! Duraludon! Duraludon! <laughs> It is the it is the day for Duraludon, man, and the Metagross right there. Bam. Okay, so this one is the Trainer Gallery uh, Duraludon. No, the other one was too, actually. <laughs> yeah. Just it had that that different formation, the black and gold. Yeah. Gold this one you got to think it has Raihan on it, so you'd think that means more points. It yes, this is considerably more points. Okay. Coming in coming in at fifteen dollars forty seven cents. That's, that's a sixteen. 16. Point. 17, 18 point pack. Oh my goodness. That is that is someone who was like, I don't want this last place award. No siree. No I'm siree. going for potentially, potentially quality eighth place position. Yeah, they're, um, at, they're at 20 points. So right now, I think they're sitting at sixth place sixth, overall. Yes, yeah. yes. Which I also think means that someone else from today will be pushed back into eighth place. I think you're right. Yeah, because we had someone earlier land at seventh. Yes. Right? So yep, yep. they are now sitting at that eighth place spot if nothing else changes, but of course we have a very long way to go. But otherwise, you have the amazing trainer gallery, uh, Duraludon. <laughs> you said it right. She's <laughs> really good against Lugia. Anyway, uh, next up we have Dakota! Dakota, who uh, she is absolutely due for a strong pack, I, I think feel. so. Right now, um, she has six points on the season, so let's see how we go. We do we do have a different tier of Patreon uh, where you can actually hop on and play Rocket League with Jay and I or, once a month. Or Super Strikers, depending on if people download it, Dakota. <laughs> No pressure. Or anything. No pressure. Um, that is it. That is an additional tier. If you'd ever like to play video games with us, that is something that we do for one hour a month. Uh oh, Dakota gonna... has the type advantage. Got the type advantage. Got the type advantage. Oh I'm boy. Excited. I'm excited. Can something... she cash in? Come on. Oh, oh the lantern. A bit. That's two. Oh. That's four. What else we oh, got? Man. What well, else we got? Let's see it. Uh, the oh, the guard of war. Oh, that's, that's it. That's one? it. Oh, oh no. my gosh. Okay, so it's gonna be five points. Those right. Would be yeah. One, so two. Three times two is six. Six, right. okay. Six points <laughs> I, on the season. So this is why we need this is why we need that that scoring yeah. robot for us. There we go. Dakota lands at twelve on the season. Ooh, not it really, the, not, really not quality eighth place spot not or really. or the big Steve award. Um, but they did get to bask in that sweet sweet type advantage. <laughs> you do, you do. No doubt. Congratulations. Oh boy, now here's someone that no one's rooting for this season, Ben. It's Brooke. <laughs> Okay, that is because Brooke has been ahead since about the third pack of the season with like the best card in the set. Yeah, the absolute best card is worth 230 points. 230 points. Their second uh, pack had one point. Basically phoned it in, because why wouldn't you? Bringing you to you a know? grand total of 231 points. So, uh, Brooke, is, Brooke is looking really good right now to win the whole shebang unless someone else manages to pull the alt art Lugia V, which is... Uh, not impossible. It'd be hilarious if it was this pack, though. Oh my, can you, um, can you can imagine? You, I can't imagine the kind of luck you would need to do that, Brooke, but if it is, I would buy a lottery ticket, like, today. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Brooke gets the type advantage. The rich get richer. The rich get richer. <laughs> As it were. Oh, and... And it's a Raichu, which is, which is not the, only one of our randomly chosen common chase cards, but it's also yeah. electric and also... Yeah. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Brooke knows how to play the game, you know? And, and the, the Emolga. Okay, here we go. I think I even see I something think I peeking see something. out back oh, there. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. something yeah. is peeking out. Let's see. We have the Whalmer and the Mawile the Mawile V. Mawile. So it looks okay. like bulk V. It does look like bulk V. So let's make sure we score this one. It's one for being electric, one for being the type advantage. That we're, This is a two-point card. Well, no, for randomly chosen common yeah. chase cards. Yeah. So right? one for being electric, one for being the common chase card. Okay. So that's two. Two. Three, three. Probably four. Let's just double check real yeah. quick. So number seventy on the set, but I do agree with you. So I think I think it's an eight point pack. Seventy one cents. Yeah. Okay. So. so it's an eight point pack overall, which is gonna bring Brooke to two hundred and thirty nine on the season. It's a commanding lead. And she uh, cashes in on the type advantage to round things off. So unless someone can pull something really massive, Brooks just over there. Just, just, Brooks just got flexing. It. But you just know flexing. what? You know every as as far a lead as she has, she also knows she's one card away from defeat. 
you know? True. Any, any, anyone could do it. Because anyone, anyone, basically anyone with about 10 points can do it, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. So, so basically anybody uh, at the number 14 position or below, which yeah. goes down to 106 people total, um, yeah, so there's, there's quite a few people who have the ability to, to strike. There are 19 opponents that Brooke needs to fend off between now and the end. Uh, we'll keep an eye on them whenever they show up to see if they can be the one to pull the alt art Lugia V, which is not guaranteed at all. Uh, next up we have Wesleyvy! What? Oh, is it me? Yeah, it's you. That's gonna be okay. you. So Wesleyvy has five points, so they're probably looking to land at about a nine if I had to guess. So they're okay. looking, they want like a four point pack. A four point pack. Yeah. I'll see if I can deliver. Yeah. Okay. Put Let's in a good word. Here. This has been an exciting uh, box thus far. It has been. Yeah. I hope I did that right. With the flip. Oh, oh the yeah. Rock there is it is. The rock is pumping. Okay. There, there. We the got Will Lord of the Rock Two scores. You're getting lots of those. This no, that was the last week nope. I think. Fungus. Fungus. Phoebus, Durant, 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 and the Earth and Steel Stone. That is. Let's double check that I, one. Yeah, I think that I actually might. I think be it's one. the forest steel stone that has the extra uh, point attached to it. Okay. There is. Value. There is. We do try to make sure we're on top of those. Yeah. yeah this one is just. Stone. You're right. Forest yeah. steel stone. So this one's just worth 42 cents. So just a two, two point, point pack. pack. Overall, it's going to be uh, seven points on the season for Wes Levy. But you do get the earth and steel stone. That's fun. That is fun. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. You know, put that in your deck. Do some things with it. Next up, we have Jack. Coming in, uh, real name is Jack, but nickname is Rob? Rob? Rab? Oh, Rab. Rab, short for rabbit, it says. Ah, yes, of I course. Because he's always so energetic. Well, let's see if he can... Uh, Jack, Jack Rabbit. Yeah, Jack Rabbit. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm seeing where this whole nickname came together. It, it works out very well. It does. All right, let's see. Can Jack Rabbit here... Oh, the eyeball energy. If only... It's mocking us. If only it had ticked over one more. Oh. And then it's mocking us. The oh, the lantern, lantern though. There, though. The, the chin, chin, chin like a full yeah. evolution yeah. line right there. Nice, the Metatide scores as well. The Ball Toy and b -b 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 uh, the, the Noivern. Okay, so four point pack, it looks like. Noivern, which is not an electric type, although even though it does, even yeah. Dragon, it might look like it. Yeah. But it is not. There we go. So that is going to be what? Oh, actually, <clears throat> Ben, this is a nine point pack. So this is another Big Steve contender. Ooh, okay. It's a nine okay. point finish, I should nine say. Nine point finish. We're nine there. Nine point finish. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that. We're definitely going to have to do some dollars and cents to figure out the Big Steve Award at this I, it's point. It's absolutely coming down to it. Now, yeah. officially, officially confirmed. Yeah, that we have at least two people at nine points. Next up is Bride Live. Uh, and they have got 12 points on the season so far. All right, Bride Live. This is another married couple. We saw the power of another married, or at least another duo. Yes, yes. Uh, earlier, I'm not sure if our, last, if our last duo was a married couple or not, but... Uh, they did pull the Duraludon. I did Duraludon. Yeah. Well, well said. Well said. Yeah, thank you. I I really do love uh, when <clears throat> when couples do this together because I like yeah. to think of them like hanging out on the couch, maybe like like projecting it on the big screen, tuning in. Mm -hmm. They've got like, like a our back. like a sodi pop or something, yeah, you right. know, something festive, maybe some popcorn. Yes, probably. All right, any Fireball Energy, the Jinx, yeah. the Brandon. That's that's a lame card. <laughs> Altaria, Meditite, will in fact score. The Dewfighter will score. I think it's our first one of the day. The Ralts, the Ponyta, the Venonat. Oh, the Jinx! Oh, look, look both how Jinx. How appropriate for the uh, for the couple, you know? Looks like little hearts popping up little there. Little hearts popping out. Okay, yeah. let's see what else we got. Oh, oh and the Skun Tank! Oh, hey, well, that's one of your channel favorites. favorites. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's we all just... remember Noel the Skun Tank. Obviously. Okay, let's see here. So the Trainer Gallery Jinx is number four. That mm -hmm. is worth eighty-two cents. So, so still just, just a single point. Three points across here, and let's see if the Skun Tank tips over. It does not. So it's also not. a single point. So, so a four-point pack for Old Briley. Four-point packs. It's gonna bring them to sixteen on the season. None too shabs, honestly. Sorry about that I branding think, card. I think that does put you at. I think she puts that in eighth place contention at the moment. Oh, right. with 16 points. I believe yeah. it's going to be very, very, very close, if not absolutely on the nose. Yeah, it's going to be right in there. Okay, next up we have Offion uh, coming in with four points. So they're hoping for like a five-point pack to also put themselves up for Big Steve here. We shall see how they do. Whoops. By the way, if you're new to uh, the channel at large and you're like, why did they award eighth place? Uh, it actually goes back to when we would play uh, Mario Kart, which Jay would always win, and yeah. I would frequently come in a quality eighth place. And that's why we celebrate eighth place around here. Stun Fist, that's electric, so it does score. And, and the, the Frost Lass. Lass. All right, so Afion gets two points, bringing their grand total on the season to six points. 
Bum not too shabs. Not too shabs. That's a fun, a fun piece of artwork there on the stun fisk. Yeah, a fun, a fun fisk. A fun, a fun <laughs> stun fisk. A fun stun fisk. Yes, everyone loves stun fisk, Ben. The flounder Pokemon. Ha ha. Next up is Hyrotus. Hyrotus. Thirteen points on the season. So this is someone that uh, Brooke is suddenly like, uh oh. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, but like, shit, like if they get if they get the alt art Lugia V, this is it. You know, this, this is, is someone who can ruin the party, or make the party, or make the party, or make a real. You know, what a what a uh, a splash, a splash. It although, would be, although, 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 off to a bad start with a minus one, it so, would be but, so funny because Bro Brooke is sitting there, was worried. Now is like, <laughs> actually, they would still have enough because they have thirteen, so they would be. They're only they're only down to twelve, so this is okay. a, it's inconsequential. Okay, okay, okay. so Quadstone, more Peko. Capturing Aroma, uh -oh. Rotom, so now we we're back up top. Out, yeah. We canceled out the Dreepy, the Rufflet, <clears throat> the Fungus, the Leafy Camo Poncho that everybody okay. wants, and oh, the Talonflame. No, no, Hyrotus does not bring it home. They get a solid, what, uh, one point? One point, um, one yeah, point a solid one pack. point. I'm, no and, one and with the Talonflame, one of my least favorite named Pokemon of all time. Really? I mean, just like, you like Talonflame? I feel like it's lazy. Yeah. I feel like it's just like, okay, what is it? What is it? It's like a flame type bird. Birds yeah, have talons. talons and yeah. Did we already say flame? I throw it in there. Talonflame. All right, well, you know, you can't win them all. Not <laughs> everything can be Duraludon. <laughs> Truly, though. <laughs> Next up, we have Aerofell uh, coming in with four points on the season. Now, last season, Aerofell finished with four points, so no matter what, they're guaranteed. Well, this could be a zero point <laughs> back. But with that V star marker. With that V star marker. But oh, it, it might. Could it be? And you may have just jinxed. Yeah, but, oh, Aerofell. Let's we'll see. Let's see. It's if gonna be amazing if they have the V star marker and a jinx in this. Pack. Okay. There's okay. no. There's okay. No. Okay. okay. That would have been incredible. Just teardrop, a teardrop energy. energy. Okay, okay, so there's Brandon oh. in the worst card ever. Oh. Fletchinder, which evolves into Ben's favorite Pokemon. Fletchinder is, is actually better than what it goes into. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Candace, and I do see something peeking out back there. It's got, oh! oh! wow! Whoa! No joke, rare pull right there. That is the alt R Reggie Drago V. That is gonna be some serious points on the board. Uh, and at the very least, is a really easily the best card we pulled today. That is super cool. Well done to Aerofell. They have way outdone themselves. We're gonna sleeve that immediately. Uh, wow, really good pull. Really okay, good pull. let's take a look here. So the yeah. these, these are the only two scoring these cards. These are our two scoring cards. Yes. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. So uh, that is going to be number one eighty four on the set. I'm excited to see what this will be. What do we get? Let's see one. Ooh, the attention. Oh my gosh, that's a no joke pull right there. Yeah. What do we got, Ben? Fifty dollars. 84 cents. Uh, 51 points plus the road time is 52 points. Oh my goodness, that is going to bring them to 56 on the season. Holy cow. That's, that's going to put you in a solid third, third place. place. Uh, and honestly, the real reward is that you get the Reggie Drago. <laughs> that is a real, real great yeah, award. That's a very, um, really good one. That's a, that's, and it also, again, I, I can't believe how much is happening because it doesn't seem like the top of the leaderboard changes a lot. And yet, who could land in that quality eighth place spot has now changed. On uh, several again. times, just in today's episode. I know, so it's, it's that's pretty crazy. All right, well, we've had a rainbow pull, we've had an alt art pull, we've had a couple of uh, trainer gallery so things, a couple of Duraludons. Who's excited Duraludons. for a bunch of standard rares to close Dude, out the episode? Know, right? Let's go. Next up, we have Annika. Is this your pack? I think it is. All right, Annika. Let's see. Annika like harmonica. Oh, that's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see here. So code card, one, two, three. Oh! And the dreaded V-Star okay, marker. The minus so we're one. Minus one positioning. Eyeball energy, again, continuing to mock us. Worker, Sunflora, Snow Run. Snow Run? Snow Run. Ooh! It's like snow. I get it now. Yeah. I get it now. Sandile, Fennekin, Murkrow, Beldum. Palosand and the Articuno. Articuno. Hey, all right. That's a, that's a fun card, no yeah. matter what. Is the Palosand, does that score? Is that a rare? It is not a rare. It is not. So, so just I, the one point off the Articuno, right? No, because no. the minus one. So a zero mm, point pack. Wow, the zero point pack. So Aerofell was actually really close to getting the zero point pack. Uh, but they didn't. Instead, they got the Reggie Drago V, and Annika got the zero point pack and finishes with four points on the season. Articuno coming your way. Next up, we have. Uh, the Bourbonator, and this is, oh, Ben, first rookie of the day! 
in contention for that Olive Garden gift card. Woo! Man, you know that's exciting. Let's see how the Bourbonator uh, does. Now it'd be now now because this is we're in a weird zone here with um, for like last place where because Bourbonator is only going to have one pack on the season they are not able to qualify for last place. However, it doesn't mean that there's not an opportunity to just pull something absolutely yeah. bonkers. Doesn't mean they can't be... land at like yeah the Big Steve Award. Doesn't mean they can't land at quality eighth place. Probably can't actually get well. I mean maybe with some help they would need some crazy pulls to get ahead of Brooke, but. Um, right, that that feels like the least attainable. Yeah, you would need some good multipliers going and, uh, on. It's already not looking good for you. But the Molga, okay, trying okay. to go the Baneer, the Drowsy, the Spinner. Oh, oh there's there we a, go. The Simeon okay. Trainer Gallery and the, the Amungus. All, All right, right. So let's we check got... out that Simeon. Yeah, how All is right. that going to go? That's going to be Trainer Gallery number eight. <laughs> let's see what that does for you. Fifty-five cents. So oh no, just a three-point three point pack. pack. Right out of the gate, going to finish the season with three points. There you go. Although to to start to have your very first ever pack <coughs> uh, include one of those full art trainer galleries, that is still that is still a lot of fun. That it's is a really fun. cool looking card. It says and the Bourbonator uh, at, used to collect X Men and Marvel cards in the '90s and is excited to start collecting with his two kids. Hey, that's so that's fun! Pretty exciting. All right. Well done. Well, you can give each uh, each one of them one of those scoring cards. There you go. All right, next up we have Chris. Uh, no, oh, Ben. Okay. They just got serious. Okay, the Burbinator yeah. and Chris K are our two rookies of the day so far. Rookies of the day. So, so three points of the pack to beat. So um, Chris is looking for more than three points if he wants that Olive Garden gift card. Okay, okay here we go. All right, let's see. We got one of the Vulpix packs here. This is my favorite pack to pull from. Not that it makes any difference whatsoever, or maybe it does. I haven't done the maths. All right, let's see here. We'll set us out the code card. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Ba -da -ba. With Boom. the flip, eyeball, oh, the eyeball energy. energy. Yeah, and we're gonna get it someday. Item. One day. We'll probably get it Dra after Silver Tempest. I know, right? Uh, we got the Dragonair, the Venomoth, Wallace, Pharaoh Seed, Smear Gold, Dratini, Esper, the Chin Chow will score, Unidentified Fossil will not, and the Cabalion. Oh, what, what is that? What are those eight cent? Legendaries. We can take a look gosh. real quick just to see how poor it actually is. Well, Ben. 11 cents! 11 cents! Amazing! Well, I gotta tell you what, uh, for uh, so far, who was, who was our last? Uh, Bourbonator is Rookie of the Day at the moment because this is just a two point pack. So unfortunately for Chris, cannot call your grandmother and let them know that you're having a really fantastic day. Yeah. You, you won Rookie of the Year. Unlimited um, breadsticks are not in the future. <laughs> Next up, oh, they might not be in the Bourbonator's future either because we have yet another rookie. We have Ariel Stormborn. I feel like I even see, I think that the next one as well as the rookie. We must wow. have, we must have, uh, Kat, who works <laughs> yeah. here in office, must have sorted it such that as we got to the bottom of the pack today, there were more rookies. So anyway, it's a lot of fun because now we get to see them all duke it out. Indeed, so we're looking for more than three points. Are you open or do I open? I think I open. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. For Stormborn. Stormborn. You know. Home of home to the Targaryens, right? Yeah. Isn't that Daenerys, Daenerys Stormborn? I think I believe so. Yeah. Or does that just mean she was born in a storm? <laughs> that's how it works. That's how it works in Game of Thrones, you know? We have the metal energy, which we desperately need to rename. Like triangle energy or something. <laughs> triangle is not bad. <laughs> Triangle's not bad. There it is. Uh, oh my gosh. It the... so many eyeballs. So you would have had four points on that. The Metagross will score so on your reverse rare and the suing and Braviary. So Ben Burbinator holds on to the Olive Garden. This is a two point pack for Ariel Stormborn. They are going to uh they enter the game. They get a nice Metagross, Suing and Braviary. But they're not going to Olive Garden. Not going to Olive Garden. Well, they're I mean, you still could on your own. <laughs> no just just not you. thanks to the rookie of the day. Yeah. Bonus gift card. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have Caitlin. Yet another rookie, Ben. So we we're right in the middle of the rookie round here. So, and and really, this is kind of interesting too, because I thought the last pack I was supposed to open, and then you opened, so it came from my side of the of yeah. the set. Oh. And so now this is off of your side. So, who was our last player there? Our last player was Ariel Stormborn. Ariel, okay, so Ariel could have had this pack, although again, it's all randomness and chaos, so. Yeah, you could have, but also, who's to say the cards wouldn't have been the same? Exactly, exactly, maybe they still will be. With the flip! Sal, Sal energy. energy. Okay, then the Hypno, Archon? Yeah. Serena, Venomat, Dupiter Ooh, will score. scores. Spin Duff, Phoebus, Noibat, Toxicroak, Toxicro oh. does not score. And oh, the Regidrago Reggie Reggie 
Okay, so earlier we saw the alt art Reggie Drago V. This is the way less valuable version. Um, it wouldn't even surprise me if it's but a single point, but it might be two. It is a dollar sixteen, so it is worth it two is points. It is two. All right, so that means we have um, a a tie between Caitlin and the Bourbonator now for Rookie of the Day, coming in at three points each. My goodness, maybe they can go and. Split the breadsticks split together. The split them. I mean, they're unlimited. They're unlimited. Why not? Why, exactly. <laughs> That's how it works. All right. Well, who's to say we don't have a yet another rookie to uh, come ruin the party at some point later in the episode? But now we have um, Charcoal, uh, who is coming in at three points, and this is just their second pack on the season. So. Let's see. Ne has never had a Pokemon card. That was the fun fact last time. Whoa. Obviously, it's not true anymore. Okay, because they got sent their last pack. Fun anecdote: My across the street neighbor. Uh, I was giving out Pokemon cards on Halloween, and my across the street neighbor said that their uh, child was extremely into <gasps> Pokemon. There we go. Charcoal. Uh, and <clears throat> he said to me, um, he absolutely loves Pokemon. He got his first card the other day. A card? Singular? I don't even know how it's possible to get <laughs> one card. Just about one. Look at how many dragons were in there. There was two Dratinis in here. This is unusual. It's a weird pack I right there. I something interesting is going to happen. Rufflet. Oh, oh man. So just a, what a way to waste the type advantage on just your single Braviary. Um, you did get two Dratinis and the Dragonair there, so you can evolve it, and Rufflet evolves into the Assuming Braviary, so there's something, I guess. None of those are very good cards. It was basically like a starter deck. <laughs> yeah, basically you got two points, um, and you finished the season with five for Charcoal. So if uh, history is any indicator, though, the next pack is also going to be... The lightning, if, the, uh, if the Harry Potter scar energy. There we go. All right, we're gonna see. This is for Jeremy. <laughs> this is for Jeremy, who has ten points on the season. That's that. That is our Reggie Drago V, right? That's Reggie Drago V, right there. Oh, that's yeah, Reggie sorry. Drago. Reggie Drago. The, the V is not included. Not included. Yeah. Um, so what are we looking at here? Is this is another person who could potentially ruin the party for Brooke? I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If they If they really. I mean, they we're talking really about are, really came to play. Okay, it's your drop energy. Oh, okay. so not not no, the multiplier. Not the multiplier. There's our gym trainer that apparently nobody has ever used in the history of ever. Ever. Uh, Curlia. Yep. Curlia. Cat. Really? Curlia. Look at really? it. Really? Curlia. What did I say? I don't know. I don't know either. Okay. <laughs> Emogo will score. The Beldum. The, the Sunfist will score. The Vulpix. The, the Fletching. The Clink. And the, the Verizion. Wow. Another way. Maybe even worse than the Cabalion. Yeah, potentially. We'll go back to the, the scorecard here. Nine cents. Nine cents. 13 points on the season for Jeremy. You get your, um, I'm not going to lie. That was, a, I mean, Verizion is a bad pack. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's just always Sometimes the, you just gotta call like you see it and you know. Just the better luck next time. Just the better luck next time, all I can say. Uh, next up we have Megan, who's coming in with three points. Does that put her in last place contention? Let's take a look here. I think we have a couple of people who couple have two of... packs that only have one point oh, total. Oh, you're right, all right. Um, Anita and Data Rage down there. Okay, yeah. so let's see. Uh, maybe Megan's not really looking for last place then. They're looking for something a little better. Something a little better. Just go ahead and launch yourself up right on into that uh, Big Steve or Quality 8th place territory. Exactly. Megan, conversely, has been collecting Pokemon cards since she was 5 and is now 23, but has yet to open a single Charizard. I don't think this would be your uh, pack, because I don't think there is a Charizard in this set, but... You could try there really, is really one. hard. Yeah. And I know, it'd be impressive if you pulled a Charizard, I'll tell you what. The Chichou uh, scores. Chich scores. The Pikachu scores. The Pikachu scores. scores. The Ponytail. Oh, the Radiant oh, Nog Zam. And ba bam And the Gardevoir. So four scoring cards, and I think it's going to be a four... Uh, point pack. It is indeed, yeah. So, so the, there, there is a Radiant uh, in this set that is worth two points, uh, but Alakazam is not that one. It is the Jirachi, right? Yes, that is correct. Yeah, so seven points on the season, more than doubled their total coming into today, so it's still pretty impressive. Next up we have Becky Borst. Becky! Becky. Yeah. Let's take a look, then you got that Vulpix pack there. Mm. I don't think we've seen a Vulpix at all. No Vulpix? Yeah, not that I can recall. Alright, let's see, let's see. One, two, three, four. The two to the front with the flip. Salad energy to start things off. Emergency jelly for dessert. Mm -hmm. Serena. Sigalith. Sigalith, yep. Ooh, you got it. All right, all right, I'm learning. Litten, Rufflet, Fennekin, Durant, Durant, Snow Run. Yep. <laughs> Ch Chibeco. Ch You're kidding me. It's like a wood chime. I would have said Chibeco. <laughs> 
<laughs> Say it again. Chime Echo. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. That's so It does look like Chime Show, doesn't it? It does. And yeah. the and Noi Bird. So it's going to be a single point pack. <laughs> Unless the Chime Echo was rare, which I don't think so. It is yeah, not. No. All right. So no. single point pack there. Three points on the season for Becky Borst. This is going to be the way. If I ever do a Nuzlocke, people need to, to go into it knowing they're going to need to be forgiving. Yeah. Well, that's the part of the fun. You used to nickname all the Pokemon anyway. That's true. So, so. I wouldn't I wouldn't call it Chime Cho for too long. Yeah, maybe you'd nickname it Chime Cho. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Spelled differently. <laughs> exactly. Uh, next up we have Nick <clears throat> Meneguzo. Nick is coming in, collects Legos, and is coming in with four points on the season. Let's see. Can they go big? Can they go big? What would be hilarious is if someone else pulled the alt art V and then they didn't win. Oh my gosh, can <laughs> you, know, you like, imagine? No, I mean, you're still kind of winning because you get the, you get you the, get card, the card. Yeah. But, um, you know, that'd be hilarious. Probably not for them. But Tokyo Tomorrow, the Pet Level, the Pikachu scores, the Gardevoir does, does score, and the Melodic scores. So three points overall. Gonna bring you to seven total for Nick Meneguzo. There we go. Bam, and we are coming down. We got only a few more packs on the day here. Next up, we have Omega, who Omega. I want to say is a former champion. Is I, that right? I believe so. Um, yes, yeah, yes, I believe so. 58 points last season, which I think was enough for the win. Yeah, although amazingly, <coughs> we have had um, at That would least only get you third place. Third place here today, at least based on the old scoreboard. We had someone else put up, oh, I guess it was like Maybe. 53 points earlier yeah. today. I don't know what else they had. Um, good word from guys in the back, though, for all Omega. If there's something unusual about the people who score high, and it seems like they consistently score high. So we'll see. We got the lightning bolt. So there's at least wow, going to be the that's double. Crazy. The Slurpluff, the lamp, Lance, lamp, <laughs> the lamps, the lamps. Uh, Arkin. <laughs> Arkin. Yeah. Spinda. Oh, Pikachu the Pikachu scores. will score. Fennekin. Dupiter. Dupiter the Sunfisk. The Dupiter. Oh, scores. Dupiter. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. Sunfisk will score. Yep. Ooh, oh, a Radiant 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 Radiant. oh my gosh, so many scoring cards. And oh, and a Regilecki, which Max. gets the uh, double. Well, no, it gets an extra point for extra being point electric. Extra point for being electric. Everything we do. Okay, so let's see. You need see. to check we the Durat. Okay, yeah. So, so one, two, three, four, five. So that's ten points right there. Okay, and then let's see what else we got. So number 58 on the set. Let's see what this VMAX gets you. Guys in the back were right. They were right. Um, let's see. Two dollars and forty cents for the Regilecki VMAX. So that's gonna be three plus four for the type advantage, makes this an eight-point card and an eighteen-point pack. Wow! Whoa! Wow! Omega! Come really, on, really making Hush. us like read the rule book I on know. that. I had a lot of weird things to consider there. That's 21 points on the season. Puts you in, I think, oh man, possibly, this is not bad spot for quality eighth place because we've had at least one person score above you. Right now, at the start of the day, it would have put you in sixth place. So I'm not sure if, uh, if two people score ahead of you and one person already has. Yeah, so one of the things I do want to point out in case anybody's wondering from a scoring standpoint, the Radiant Jirachi is one of the very few cards that is not a full arc that does score more than one point. Uh, and we do know that. That was like the Radiant Alkazam yeah. earlier. So yeah. just as a heads up in case you were like, wait a second. Yeah. How come that one got double? Uh, that is why. Double Goodness double. Me. What well, a pack for Omega. What a pack for Omega. <clears throat> yeah. Finishing the season strong, possibly putting themselves in uh, quality eighth place winning position. Next up, Narwhal King. The Narwhal King. The Narwhalius. They're coming in with five points on the season here. Uh, I think, look at this. Are we, did we put too many cards? Too many index cards? That's, that's possible. Stack, maybe? That's possible. Well, that's no big deal. Move on to the next week. All right, here we go. We have got, what is Narwhal King going to do? Oh, eyeball, oh energy. eyeball energy. This person, they Fan know favorite. about quality eighth place because they've been a fan since the Mario Kart days. <coughs> it says on their card here, Sunfist, Sunfist scores, scores, Esper, Smeargle, Professor Laventon, and the Medicham. So that's going to be two points on the day. Going to bring Narwhal King up to seven. Uh, yes, yeah, seven, not five on the season. Whoops. I can do math. <coughs> math totally. Math. math, 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 math. Here we go. Next up is Chrysara. Chrysara. <coughs> Coming in at 18 points already. Okay, okay. And it's a black belt, so they are looking to kick Brooke off of their uh, pedestal, probably with some sort of awesome flying maneuver. Ooh, I like to think so. I like to think so too. Well, I don't know. Not, you know, I don't want Brooke to get hurt or anything, but. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Just because Brooke's in first doesn't mean anything like that <laughs> needs to happen. <laughs> no. Though there is their Aukus Pummeling. Calm I, it down, Gracera. I, I, yeah. I don't, I don't Didn't know. Didn't come to fight. <laughs> I don't know whether or not it's possible. 
came to fight. <laughs> I feel like it's possible that Krasara has gotten, because I feel like we've made this reference before, yeah. like is a black belt and got the raucous pummeling energy. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, Some people have a certain style of play and they stick to it. They, Glalie? <laughs> Glalie, yep. Candice? Yep. Yeah. Behemoth? Behem. Behem. Yeah. Whalmer. Phoebus. Dratini. Yeah. No, no, I got Dratini. Phoebus is right. <laughs> yeah. Fippy. I'm losing it over here, guys. Noivern and something else peeking out back there. Oh, oh this is a regular old Regilecki V. Regilecki V. There but the Noivern will score, so that's at least one point. Yeah, two points. and then so, let's see, number possibly, 57. Yeah. We'll see well, if it's at it least a three over. point pack. Yeah. Um, 91 cents for that Regilecki 91 V. 91 points. So yeah. it is electric, so it gets the type advantage uh, extra point there. So it's two, three points on the pack. She's gonna bring you up to 21 points on the season. On the total, ba -ba congratulations. And that card is headed your way. Yeah, Regilecki is gonna be real good once Scarlet, once rotation happens. And uh, Mariodon is legal. And uh, then things are gonna get wild. Uh, anyway, next up is Mooney Man. Mooney Man! This used to be John Munyon for those at home. Who, it, 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 he has updated, wants to be called Mooney Man from now on. Okay, okay. So we have, um, let's see. They four are coming points. in with four points. Currently serving the U.S. Navy. Loves going to drive-in movies with his family. Who doesn't love a great drive-in movie? I don't think I've ever been to one. Have you not? No. Oh my gosh, you should take your kids. It is a lot of fun. I will take them. I don't know, though. I'm not going to trap in the car with the kids for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Are we there yet? Be like, yeah, we're here. This is it. This is it. <laughs> this is the whole thing. All right, we got the fireball energy, the haunch crow, the big haunch. Chimeco or the Chime Joe, the Chimefist Chime scores, the, the Dewfinder scores, scores, and the Armaldo scores. Armaldo. So three points overall, gonna bring you up to seven points on the season for Mooney Man. Well done, sir. And I think we are down to our final pack of the day. Last pack of the day. Went through a whole <coughs> box today. Indeed. Now we are on to Sydney. Sydney. Yep. The Vulpix pack here. This is only Sydney's second pack of the season. So we've only got two points so far. Goodness me, they have probably a pretty big collection because they have been collecting Pokemon cards since ages six or seven. Wow. Yeah. And so they're now a hairstylist in Texas, so <laughs> go so big or go So home. probably not eight years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or really, really um, accomplished eight year old. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, eyeball energy to kick things off. Crocorock? Yeah. Really? Yeah, Crocorock. Wow. That's a whole bunch of K's. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Anorith? Yep. Meowstic? Yep. Toga tomorrow? Nail well, Toga tomorrow. Close. Yep. Petalil? Petlil. <laughs> Pikachu? Yeah, that one. <laughs> Growlithe? I hope you got Pikachu. Clink? <coughs> Dom Van? Yep. And Arcanine. Arcanine. So just a two point pack there for our eight year old hairstylist <laughs> out of I, Texas. I super duper hope that. Uh, Sydney is actually like an eight-year-old and has like a Barbie salon. Right, yeah, yeah. It's like, like I'm, I'm a, a hairstylist. I'm a hairstylist. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I can do that whenever I want. No doubt right there. Okay, so it looks like we put one too many index cards in here. You can't see it on screen. So this person just moving into next week. Not going to be a problem. Uh, and otherwise, that's our box for the day. How exciting. We had a bunch of Duraludon VMAX. We had a Rainbow V-Star Mawile. We had the Alt Art Reggie Drago. I know. I Yeah, I feel bad. I feel bad for Editor Ethan, who's going to have to go through and do all sorts of scoreboard rearranging because there was a whole lot of shifty bits that was happening in there today's episodes. There was a lot episodes. of shifty bits, yeah. And of almost bits. inevitably, we're going to have to go back from previous episodes and find people's like card pulls and figure out their like cents and dollars to figure out their final placements and stuff. So Absolutely. So yeah. be, be sure to keep an eye on that in the future because we will have at least two more episodes uh, to close out season three here yeah. in the month of February. Yes, and if you want to uh, make sure you're included in the next season, what do you need to sign up by the end of this? month by the end of this month so yes. february 28th we'll get you included in our uh single pack season yes. so you may be aware of the fact that uh in between booster box releases with the next one is going to be scarlet and violet yes uh they have a smaller set that has been available which is called crown zenith thank you for finishing my sentence because you i definitely welcome. remembered yes. what it was crown zenith is a uh, mini set and uh, it has a lot of reprints in it but as a result all those reprints are like beautiful artwork so yes a lot of the cards you can pull in Crown Zenith are awesome, but it's just a uh, single pack season, so you only get one shot, one bite of the apple, a good way to enter in, you know? Yeah, there we um, go. Yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, be sure to check that out. It's all over at patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Be sure to select the Box Breakers tier, but otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.